Taking a look today at uh, TR4 bumper guards and the license light wiring. When I got this car, it had no bumper guards, but I got these on uh, eBay. I don't remember what I paid for them. Fortunately, the patina of the bumper guards just about matches the existing bumper. So I went to install these only to discover the wiring the existing wiring that came with them only reached this point here. It came through the fender, but it did not reach the wiring harness here. So I wound up adding 18 inches to the length to reach the wiring harness. So unfortunately, that leaves these splices exposed outside of the tube but I thought this was the best alternative. So originally, from this point to the connectors was 34 inches. And again, that was enough only to get to this point through the fender, but not up to the wiring harness. Now I've got another TR4, and those wires go all the way up to here. But these came with just 34 inches of wire. With my extensions, now it's 53 inches long from this point to the bullet connectors. Also, when I got this, I realized the pressed in nut was missing. So I welded a nut to a fender washer, slipped that into the back, and welded the fender washer to the bumper guard. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Not the best lighting today. It's a very bright sun. I feel like I should apologize for that. But I need to put this back together and get to a car show. I'm guessing maybe the last TR4s, the wiring harness came all the way to the top of the fender. And it connected to the bumper guard wiring in this area. Maybe that was the problem here. Maybe someone watching the video can confirm that. But again, on my other TR4 and other people that I've talked to, this notion of the wiring ending here has not been explained. Thanks. Leave a comment. Be sure and watch my other videos.